Hey Wilson, you know what man, we've been doing all these videos about the JBL speakers, the Sony speakers, now we got the Wonder Booms, all these like name brand speakers. Yeah, it's time to do something a little different, man. What you wanna do? Oh, I don't know, what you got? I think we should just go to the store and just pick up something, man. Really? Yeah, just whatever's not this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's do it. Let's go, man. Right. Let's put these up. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, Wilson, what do you think about these two, man? We got this portable FM boom box with LED lighting from Groove On. It's the Walmart brand. And then we got this little one. What, what do you think about one, which one or the other? Or both? Let's Look, try them both. We're talking about $14.88 for this one and $68 for this one. I think we should try them both. All right, we got so it. Wait, what is this? Man, this is like $90? Like, wow. <laughs> what can you get for this amount of money as far as like a name brand speaker like a Sony or a JBL? $90? Just like what, a flip? A, flip? a $98. $129 is the JBL Flip 6. Oh man, they're not even. Dang! We actually got a bonus. I ended up picking up a Skull Candy XT. It's another one of those small speakers. It was on clearance for $16. So we got three speakers, two mini speakers, and then this little boom box here for $107, bucks, Wilson. What do you think? <laughs> I can't wait to try them now. Dude, $107, and we still haven't even purchased a JBL Flip 6 yet. <laughs> at 130 true, right? retail. Oh my God, that's right. It's freaking nuts, man. I cannot wait to try these out. Let's go, man. What is your expectation for these speakers, man? I hope they're good for how cheap they were. Dude, we spent $107 on three speakers. What if they actually blow away some of their like counterparts? Like, you know, the Sony XB100 and the JBL Clip and stuff. I think they're gonna need to rethink their pricing. Do you think they should probably charge more? <laughs> For the on? Either the on charges more or they need to oh, understand sorry. where the market is. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, man. Dude, I'm pumped about this, man. I ain't never really done this before, so I'm kind of pumped, man. I, I really do hope they... I do not want them to suck. All right, man. Which one you want to try first? We got this uh, Groove On Portable FM Boombox IP67. This is more compatible to what? A JBL Extreme? I think so. Speaker? It looks about like the Extreme size. All right. Then we got, dude, this is the bonus. This is the Skull Candy. We, 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 we did not set out to get name brands, but the lady was like, you should get this one because it's on clearance. This is the Skull Candy Ounce XT. Got this one for 16 bucks, blue. And then, so this is one, what, a Clip 6 got XB100? Uh, yeah, okay. I like a Clip, yeah. And this is the Groove On Small Rugged Speaker. They don't really have names like that. <laughs> so which, which one should we do first? Let's do the Small Rugged one. This one? Yeah, let's All do right, that one first. Let's go. All right, so all we're gonna do right now is, oh, I don't even need my knife. All we're gonna do is uh, turn them on, get a, little, get a little sample, a little epidemic sound sample. I hope they have power. Oh yeah, I hope I don't need to charge them. Dude, the packaging is super minimal. I actually appreciate that now. I used to like a lot of packaging back in the day. And then I realized, dude, they're just wasting paper. <laughs> this is cute. It's smaller than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but this is cute. This is cute. Okay, so we got. Let me see here. It's a power button, Bluetooth button. This must be like. Oh, you could probably link multiples. That's what that means. Oh my God, they have that feature. In some yeah, of like you got a plus and minus, and you got your playing pause. This is IP, IPX7. So, uh, it's waterproof but not really dustproof maybe the dust uh then we got this usb c oh and it's got a 3.5 millimeter in oh there you go for dude that's clutch for a small it. speaker yeah they don't be all the people that are asking for it yeah you got your lanyard okay let's that's all it's got power, power oh on. dude we got power oh no okay i gotta sit down sit down wilson man sit down man okay where's the speaker let's put that one up let's put that one right there there's no app no we're not doing apps here and that's fine i mean we're talking about a 16 dollar speaker what was this one 12 i think actually for what this speaker this little one for the price oh. yeah uh no it was 15 15 bucks it was 15. all right let's get some music Mm. Well, you know we got to pay to play the people's the song of the people here, right? Oh yeah. Soul on fire. Where is it at? Come on, come on. There you go. Set my soul on fire. 50% soul on fire. Oh, oh 
wide. All right, cool. So far, it's not horrible. I ain't got no complaints. This is 50%. It doesn't sound like hollow or muffled. Not even tinny either. Dude, this thing is kind of a banger, dude. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna crank it up to 80. Okay, it doesn't get super loud. That's tolerable. All right, I don't wanna get too excited. You know, this is my jam right here. Oh yeah. This is 80%. There's something else going on with the guitar. Nah, I'm not feeling that. Let me see. All right, this is 80%. All right, let's turn it back down to 50. Now remember, Wilson, this is a personal speaker. This is not something you, you know, dorm room, bedroom, like you don't want to get in trouble for being too loud. Just need some tunes, office, desk, and it costs $15. Would you recommend this? I sure as hell would. It's not bad. Dude. It's not even that bad, dude. It's 15 freaking dollars. I'm just glad it's not tinny. Do you understand that speakers like this, of the name brands, we're talking the Sonys, we're talking the JBLs, the Marshalls. <laughs> the Marshalls. <laughs> and the Bose. Speakers like this cost like what? Uh, like 80 bucks to 120 bucks? Definitely. And this is 15. All right, have you had enough for this one? You ready to move on? I think we should move on. Where are we going next? Uh, let's you know, let's go to candy. Skull Candy, because get... it's the same size. Might as well. All right, so we'll power this one off. This is the Skull Candy Ounce XT. Big sound that's easy to stash. You could put your weed in there. <laughs> what movie is that from? <laughs> Dude, that's, that's from a movie. You could put your weed in there. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So Skull Candy is actually a name brand, and I really do like Skull Candy brand. I've just never experienced any one of their speakers before. So this is a first on the channel for Skull Candy. It's an interesting looking speaker. It's a bowl shape. Dude, get in there so you can see that. So it's like a claw foot bathtub. <laughs> a garden tub. Yeah, it's like a, a little. <laughs> that's interesting. So you got your base right there that it sits on and that's a radiator back there. You got your lanyard and it's like a little, it's like a bowl. That radiator you got your skull promising. candy, skull right there. Let's turn this bad boy on, USB-C charging. What's the, um, 16 hours battery life, IPX7. Uh, where are my buttons? Where's the power? So I guess- Might be that big circle one. It's kind of gangster right there. That's a pretty cool sound. <laughs> so I guess it's, it's searching for my phone right now. All right, who you think going with? Skull Candy or Groove On? I don't want to give any expectations right now. Let's see. Let's Come see. on, man. Come on, I don't man. want to be disappointed. All right, we're connected. Bruh, you, you still don't want to call it? I don't want to call it yet. All right, Let's I'm going to go with the song of the people again. 50%. It's already louder. Yeah. And a little bit cleaner, too. You think? Yeah, I'd probably would say so. Better highs. No bass. At all. Make sure that radiator is pumping. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. No bass. Did this one have bass though? That one had slightly more in my opinion. I 
don't know how to call it. That was 80%, by the way, guys. What do you think, Wilson? I like the on better. Do you really? I think I like the on better. Bro, hold up, bro. Hold I up. think I like the on better. All right, let's see. Let me turn on the on. Power on. All right. Bluetooth connected. Okay. So let me go into my media output. Let me, let me play both of them at the same time at 50%. So this is a skull candy. That's the on? This is on. That's on? Yeah. And... Wait. Oh, this is on, my bad. Oh, okay. I was about to say, well, <laughs> that one sounds better. It has way more bass. Yeah, that one sounds way better to me. That's embarrassing, bro. <laughs> on is so much better. <laughs> it's, it's way freaking better. Now, granted, this was on clearance for $16. I see why. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see this. This is on clearance for $16. I wonder what retail was. Uh, I'll look that up for you while you But talking. seriously, man, the on sounds so much better. It's, it's so much fuller. Like, it has more bass and just the full sound. Dude, mm, that was... Not good for skull candy. I was actually expecting a little bit more out of skull candy, to be honest with you, man. I'm a little disappointed. Let's see. Retail price is 23. All right, but still, I mean, it's still cheap, but still not as good as on. All right, now, now it's time for the big boy. You ready, Wilson? Let's do it. All right. I'll get this box out of your way for you. All right, what size do you think this is? You think this is JBL Extreme? It's gotta be. I say it's close to it, but it's light. Is it really? Yeah. Let me feel that. It's light. Oh my God, that is so much lighter. Yeah, it's light, light. It's like pinky light. You ain't even gotta get your pinky game strong. Hey, you got a handle. And you got a friggin' handle. Yeah. <laughs> but no strap though. Oh, my wife and my dog are coming down. Hey, babe. Babe, is that you? Oh, come on down. We're shooting a video right now. We just went and bought some really cheap ass speakers from Walmart. <laughs> she don't want to be in the video. <laughs> All right, so it says Bluetooth mode right here. I like a display. It has a display. Oh my God, what? Yeah, it has a digital display on there on the top. It's focusing, there it goes. So all the buttons light up, which is really nice. We got an input button, Bluetooth button. Let's get this thing fired up, man. Bluetooth pairing. We're going to play the song with the people and maybe another one. Let me see here. Raylan, don't be getting started with that squeaking toy. Anybody? How much was this one? Let's see. This is like $60. Uh, I'll check for you right now. This one was $68. 68 bucks. All right. Uh, oh, pair. Bluetooth connected. You know, one thing I did notice that neither one of these cheap speakers from on has that raggedy Bluetooth pairing voice. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like the cheap stuff, like Bluetooth pairing. No, this has a nice smoothing voice. It's almost as smooth as the sexy Sony lady voice. <laughs> almost, almost. All right, uh, let's go into my epidemic sound. I got time for it, Raylan, not today. Not today, my friend. You set my soul on fire. There we go. That's loud. We got 50% right now. There's no app, no EQ. The bass button's off, right? Yeah. Wow. That's clean. Look at that bass button. Oh my God, it's got rich. Oh, you turn it back off, hold up. I'm digging this. Bruh, bruh, that's the bass off. Turn it on. A little more power. A little more thump. It, just, it feels like more power than like more bass. Which one you like? I think they're both good. I'm gonna turn it up to 80%. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, bring 
Take it off. Man, we got a hit, Wilson. <laughs> we got a hit, bro. Hold on, let me get back. We stand back. Hold up, man. Hold up. If it plays my jam. So this is the bass boost off. Okay, that's clean. Turn up. You hear distortion? I'm not catching it. You might be able to catch it. Wait till these horns come in. Seriously, what you think? It almost feels like that bass button brings the power to the to the sub is more than the uh, to the other speakers. All right, let me let me try another song. Uh, it tells you the volume on the speaker. Does it? Yeah, I just saw that from before. I just get the hell out of here. Look, you got to be kidding me, dude. That this is, was seventy dollars. So this clutch. is six. Dude, fix the oh. camera. You got one yeah. job, bro. <laughs> 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 Dude, this is good. This is $68. <laughs> oh man, we definitely doing some comparisons with this one. What, do you think this one stands a chance against the big boys? It has to. It, it definitely does. Dude, we might have found a new cheap speaker brand. For an extreme size speaker. Bruh, let me tell you something. So this is how we're going to end off this video. I'm going to let this music play. All right, so what have we discovered here? We got Two cheap ass speakers. We got what, 15 bucks? Uh, yeah, 15. Would you actually recommend this to somebody? For $15, definitely. All right, 100%. I would too for $15. Because um, how much is the uh, the go? Like 40 bucks, 30 bucks? Like 50. Yeah. 50 bucks? Yeah. All right, then there you go. Does this outperform a go? Uh, for its size and for its price, I gotta say yes. That's tough. We're gonna have to do a comparison with that one. Well, we All gotta right. give the people that. All right. Trash. Absolutely. <laughs> For a dollar more, throw it in the trash. I usually don't like to bash speakers because it's not good to be bashing brands when you're, you know, in YouTube like I am. But this got to go. It's on clearance for a reason. And it's on clearance for a reason. This one is the star of the show. This one actually stole the show. So would you recommend this to somebody? A hundred percent. Now you got, okay. You would actually put this in the class of the Sony XG300 as well as the JBL Extreme 3 Extreme and 4. Extreme 3 and 4, yep. So when we talk about JBL Extreme, we're talking 379. Yeah. That's $380. Oh yeah. This is 70. Yeah. And you're putting this against that. Yes. Okay. So if someone were saying, I don't, well, if you don't have a budget, you probably would go with the JBL because it's better build quality all around, better sound quality. I think so. You know what? We gotta see. We got a C, man. Dude. We got we got to try it out. Wilson, did we find a gym? I think we did. I think we, we should do this. Hey, let me know in the comments if we should do this more often. I mean, we got Walmarts, we got Targets, we got Academies, all kinds of cheap ass speakers in these stores. And I, I wanted to do this video because where are we at on time, Wilson? Uh, we're sitting at 20 minutes. God dang. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but it was worth it though, right? Um, I want to do this video because sometimes like, let's say you do have an expensive speaker and you either, it either breaks or you don't want to take it somewhere and you need something quick in a pinch that you don't want to break the bank for. So you would grab something like this, but you don't know nothing about it. Well, we just found a gym. I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is this little joint right here is giving JBL and Sony a run for their money. God dog it. Sorry, JBL fanboys and Sony boys. It's a new boy in town. <laughs> 